Hey, Geneva said he went to some conversion church. My parents found it. Place over on Garfield. This pastor turns homos back to normal. Leviticus 20.13 says, if a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. Yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? Matthew 18 says we must confront the sinner and give him a chance to repent. So, Tammy, do you want to be cured of the homosexuality disease and go back to being a normal girl again? Yes. Jesus. Do you want God back in your life? Yes! <laughs> I'm going to beat the fuck out of this guy. Out of here. Romans chapter 128. Do we have a Bible? A Bible? Yeah, the good book. I doubt it. This poor child couldn't help himself once the devil got inside of him. Mm -hmm. Psalm 101.3 says, I will not look with approval on anything that is vile. I hate what faithless people do. I will have no part of it. Romans 13, 8 to 10 says, let no debt remain outstanding except the continuing debt to love one another for whoever loves others has fulfilled the law. What is your name? Ian. Gallagher. Are you a homosexual, Ian? Indeed I am. What? Would you like to come up to the altar and bring Jesus back into your life? Oh no, I'm, I'm good. See, I already got Jesus in my life. Colossians 3, 11 to 13 says, here there's no Jew or Gentile, Barbarian, Scythian, slave, nor free, but Christ is all and is in all. Corinthians 6, 17 through 20. Flee from sexual immorality. All the sins a person commits are outside of the body, but whoever sins sexually sins against their own body. Galatians 5, 14. For the entire law is fulfilled in keeping the command, love thy neighbor as thyself. You don't actually think you can win a Bible quoting contest with me? He does. Hey, any of you queers sick of this bullshit and want to get out of here? We got this brick building over in Ashland? I'll go. Lewis, get back here. Lewis, get back here. You want to fight? I'll fight you, but you're going to get your ass kicked by a homosexual. Let's go. Fags, this way. You were awesome. <laughs> uh, what? What are you talking about? Going at it with that pastor. What? Wait, what? How do you know? It's on YouTube. It's already got like a thousand hits. Seriously? Uh-huh. So, what now? Can I help you? Excuse me. Are you the guy from YouTube? Who are you? I'm Deacon Jason Cook from Ebenezer Baptist Church. This here is Father Monroe from St. Lisbeth's. And um, we want to discuss your message. My message is Jesus is non-binary, so deal with it, Deacon. Amen to that. We support an inclusive vision, son. We're not here to contradict you. Mm -mm. We want to thank you. Your words have been inspiring. I think, I think you're what the people need. They tell you that Jesus had all these messed up ideas, but the truth is that you Fucking girls is exactly what Jesus wants you to do because that's love and Jesus is love. You know, most of these assholes are closeted gays anyway. They wish they were as free as you. Amen. So why should we stop anybody from being exactly who God created us to be? We are living examples of God's creation. Jesus is love. Boys kissing boys is Jesus is love. Girls kissing girls, Jesus is love. So you tell your church amen to that. In the name of Jesus, the Lord's only begotten Son, I rebuke the devil's homosexuality from your body and your soul. You are pure and holy just as you are. Your gay body is a blessing, not a sin. No, yeah! sir. No, sir. Not today. This is not the place for your message. Oh, my message of love? A church isn't a place for that? You are not welcome here, son. Ushers! I'm not welcome. I thought everyone was welcome in the house of God. Come Easy. Come on, fellas. Take it not enough. when you're disrupting God's word. All right. Well, you can't stop the movement for justice. Yeah. 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 Right. All right. Hey, kid, don't listen to these bricks, OK? You're going to be OK. We're coming back. Carpet munching is Jesus' is love. I'm telling you to leave. Jesus is love. But fucking leave is Jesus' love. Leave the premises now. Leave. 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 Stand back. Everybody stand back. 
Stay with me. Come on. Come on, come on, wake up, wake up. <laughs> Thank God. What's up, guys? Mr. Gallagher? Hi, I'm Reverend Murphy. I am a pastor at Trinity and Life Evangelical. Oh, we don't need any more ministers, but if you want to give money, I'm not here for me. Some folks from my church wanted to meet you. This is Alice. Her parents put her through conversion therapy twice. She has something for you. Thank you. Can you, like, heal people? I'm a paramedic, so. Well, when are you going to perform your next miracle? Oh, no, I don't perform miracles. Uh, do you, I'm sorry, I only saw the one video. What is your ministry again? I don't have one. I just kind of show up to these conversion things and argue with assholes. People use God as an excuse for their own hatred. And when it's your own family, it's the worst. God creates us all in his own image. We got to jog their memory. If they believe that God hates the same people as they do, well, they're creating God in their image. Jesus, listen to that. Oh, I know. He's like a prophet. And he's super hot, too, like hot gay Jesus. <laughs> You did great. I just sat there while people talked about how horribly they've been treated by family, Thank co-workers. So. Tomorrow's our weekly service where we invite Thanks speakers so to come up and discuss how to turn personal pain into positive action. We call it a night of good grief. The name is silly, but the idea isn't. Are you up for it? Well, I don't know what to say that hasn't already been said. You say it again. It can't be said enough, not until a queer kid stop being told there's something wrong with them. Can I get a ride to this church? I'm supposed to speak at this thing, and uh, I'm kind of scared shitless. I mean, I don't do speeches. So I just want to start out by saying that I'm no hero. I'm just a guy who keeps showing up to these anti-gay churches and hearing shit like, God created man and woman. You either look like a man or a woman. Don't bring us any of your other shit. So they're essentially saying, don't make me work too hard to see you on your own terms, right? But we have the God-given right to be who we are not who others want us to be. So when they say shit like, don't use fake words like non-binary or, or gender fluid, cis, whatever, it's like, those are my terms, bitch. Which means, which means we have to be so big so noisy that there's nowhere else to look. And we do it in God's name because, because God hates haters. Two big dudes just showed up. They're trying to take one of the kids. Your dad says you're using? Sometimes. You're selling yourself? You can't be living on the street. It's dangerous. I can't go home. When I came out, they lost it. 
says that they're okay with you being gay. That's bullshit. They put me into therapy three days a week. Started going to a church where this asshole was always talking about sodomy and God's will. He says your therapist thinks you may be mentally ill. They put me on these drugs, knocked me on my ass. I couldn't even get out of bed. I couldn't get an erection. That's what they really want. So that I can't have sex with another boy, you know? Well, you can't stay here. You have to find some place where you can be safe, where you can be yourself. So you'll help me? They're back. They're never gonna give up. Get the kid. I love you, son. I'm, I'm doing this for your own good. My God's a faggot. My God's a dyke. My God is trans, a junkie, a whore. We will not be victims. What the fuck happened? Things got out of hand. Is the office meant? I have no idea. How'd you find me? Vic, the cops are looking for you and came by the center twice today. What are you planning to do? I don't know yet. Well, they're threatening to send cops to the center to round up kids, throw them into group homes, send them back to their parents. They want you to give Blake back to his parents and for you and Vic to turn yourselves in. I'm making a difference here. I feel good. Alive. Fiona and Lip are trying to find you. They're worried about you, think that you might be off your meds. You even listening? Look at me. These kids believe in you, but this isn't about you helping them anymore. This is about you loving all of the attention and the hero worship. If you care about these kids, I mean truly care about them, you'll turn yourself in before anyone gets hurt. That's what a real leader would have the courage to do. I know what I have to do now. It's big. Up. Up! Up! Everyone up! Come on! This might just make the end then. Showtime. We are gay! And we love you. We are trans and we love you. We are lesbian and we love you. We are bisexual and we love you. That's him. Ian Gallagher, we have a warrant for your arrest. I'm Ian Gallagher. No. I'm Ian Gallagher. I'm Ian Gallagher. All right. Arrest them all. Have a blessed day.